Okay, today I'm going to give you some techniques to drive more people to your online store and obviously create more awareness and create more reach for your brand as well. And the good thing is all these strategies are free. They just take a little bit of time. Now, the problem with many e-commerce businesses these days is the business owners are sitting there waiting for things to happen. Okay, so they're waiting for people to find them. They may be posting on social media and hoping that's going to work. Now, the problem with social media is it's fantastic when it works, but a lot of your time is actually wasted because the reach you get on something like Facebook or Instagram is only about 5%. So expecting that to just you know, bringing lots and lots of business on its own, it ain't gonna happen, I'll be honest with you, unless you have a very viral product or unless you have a, an extremely uh, loyal audience. So what else can you do? What, what other ways can you uh, drive more people to your online store? Well, you can run ads, this is fantastic, you know, great to run ads, but it gets expensive. And when you're a small business on a tight budget, that's not always an option and obviously it can be a little bit hit and miss because it takes a little while to get the targeting sorted. So other things you can do. Number one is networking. You know, I see a lot of people when they say the word networking, they kind of roll their eyes. Networking is fantastic, but it's one of those things that you only get out of it what you put in. Now you have to, you know, put in a bit of time and effort to get to know people, but it works. Trust me, it does work. Now, I'm a member of a networking group called BNI. Actually, I'm a member of a few networking groups, but one of them is called BNI. It's a global network. And the great thing with BNI is it, you know, you, you mix with people in the local area, you look, you know, you meet people in local businesses, and they're not all directly your customers. That's the key thing to learn about networking. Okay. It's all about who they know. So you've heard the cliche, it's not what you know, it's who you know. So if you just mix with people, you teach people about your products, teach people about your business, you get to know them and you pass referrals around. After a while, the kind of you gain traction and there are lots of people referring. So whether you're selling wine, whether you're selling baby clothes, whatever you're selling, bike repairs, anything like that, networking can be extremely powerful. And the great thing with the BNI network as well, I'm not trying just to promote the BNI here, it's not, I'm trying to promote networking in general, but with BNI, it is a global, global network. So it enables you to open lots of doors and contact people within the same network. So I have calls all the time with people in America. I have um, calls, all, all, all people all over the UK because I can just pick the phone up or send an email and say, hi, Matt from BNI here. Do you fancy having a quick one-to-one, -one, you know, catch up so I can learn more about your business. So it's the same with e-commerce. It's all about networking. It's not about trying to sell to people. You do not sell at networking. You just get to know people. And then once you get into, uh, you know, you kind of build up that sort of close network network, and people understand your business, then they will start passing your leads and you will find that business comes in. So it's not the quickest burner, but it does work and it's very effective. Uh, number two is Facebook groups. Now, Facebook groups, again, can be very effective. It's like an online networking, pretty much. That's exactly what it is. You want to go into the Facebook groups that are relevant to where your customers hang out and relevant to, obviously, your products. But it doesn't always have to be the products. It's more important that you focus on going where your customers hang out because then you can get to know them, you can get your products in front of them, your brand in front of them, and then you can make that impact. But again, Again, just like networking, going into Facebook groups or any groups if, for that matter, and selling is a massive no-no. Do not sell. That's not how you actually sell. You want to be useful, be helpful, and then people will gravitate towards you. Okay, so think about that. Uh, so that's Facebook groups. Number three is commenting on inst uh, influencers on Instagram. Now, if people, you know, influencers within your uh, sphere, within your industry, or who fit, again, your target audience, you want to hunt those people down and then keep commenting and follow them on social media, so on, the, on their different social media accounts. The idea of this is to actually get on their radar so they interact with you, and also, when you're commenting, try to add some value to the post. Don't just say, like it, yeah, that's great, whatever, it's something really short. Try to be very positive and try to go that extra mile because other people will read that comment and also the influencer will potentially read that comment as well. And that is going to raise your profile. And when people start to like your comments, that's when you gain more traction as well. And people will click on your profile and come to your site. OK, so that's Instagram. Uh, 
Number four is local online groups, okay? So there's lots of little local online groups on social platforms. Try to infiltrate locally and dominate your own backyard. That's what I was always taught, to dominate your own backyard first and build out from there. Because if you ever do, you know, get to the point where, uh, you know, you're gonna meet these people in person, whether it's an affair or at a business event or something that's local, um, whether it's networking, for example, you know, it's always good to have these people local so you can meet up with them for a coffee, so you can drop things around their house, you know, and it's, as I say, it's just more of a kind of a tighter knit uh, community and that works extremely well. Number five is business forums. Now, I'm a member of a number of business forums. Uh, the UK Business Forums is one of them where I go on there and I just help people all the time. They're asking questions about their business, what about marketing, about sales, about digital. And I go on there and I just offer as much help as possible. The key thing about business forums is, you know, if you are overly helpful and you are really uh, quite positive, people, again, will gravitate towards you. And, you know, I've, I've received business out of it, but I'm not just on it just to get business. I am there to help people. But again, it's that referral, that network marketing thing again, where people refer you and will comment and say, oh, you know, they, they see they see somebody ask for, say, e-commerce help, and then they will uh, tag Webshop Mechanic, which is obviously myself. So it's one of those things where, you have to put the effort in, but just go in there and be overly helpful and be positive and be part of the community and business forums can be extremely effective. And the final one is Reddit. So Reddit is obviously uh, primarily US based, but there's a lot of global activity on Reddit and it's probably one of the biggest forums of everything, um, you know, on the internet. It's been around for yonks. It's you know, very basic, but the uh, information on there and the networks and the connections that you can build are absolutely immense. Um, it's not going anywhere, Reddit. It's fantastic. And, you you know, you can learn so much from, from people on there as well. So, again, it's not about going there on there and selling. It's about creating a profile for yourself, being trusted, building that, you know, all of these things, all of these ideas that, um, you know, that I've, I've presented today are all about building trust and building your profile. Because if you can be that business owner uh, and that brand that people trust, then they are going to come back to you. OK, so just to run through those. So networking is the first one. Um, you know, as I say, look at some look, look at BNI. It's worth it. It's fantastic. Facebook groups go in there. Be good. Be, um, be you know, helpful um, and be positive. Uh, Instagram comments on influencers and in the, in the comments and, and, and kind of interact with the other people um, who are potentially your target customer. Uh, local groups as well, local networking groups online. Look at those as well and see who you can get involved with. Uh, business forums. Again, UK business forums is one that I I went on, but you know there's obviously lots more like it within your niche, I should imagine. And Reddit is the final one. Okay, so Reddit is fantastic and uh, just get involved. So all of these are fantastic platforms. They do take a bit of time and effort, but if you book that into your schedule, if you plan it all in, then it's only going to help your business. And just remember, it's free at the end of the day. If you put the effort in, it's free. And one, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. But once you get that traction, when you when you get that momentum going after a few months, it does start to work, and you, it it really really powerful. And you know, it means you haven't got to put your hand in your pocket and pay for a load of advertising. So I hope that was helpful. If you uh, like this video, make sure you like it, uh, and you can subscribe to my channel if you uh, if you want some more. Uh, you know, e-commerce com uh, content, business content like this. And make sure you obviously hit the bell as well if you want to be notified when I launch another video. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon.